This quick harness review is of the Shox OpenCom UC Bluetooth headset. Let me show you. So this is a, set, a headset from Shox, uh, it's a company called Shox. They are famous for their bone conducting headphones. So these headphones don't sit in your ears or next to your ears, they actually loop over the front um, of your ear uh, and it uses a bone conducting technology so you hear the sound coming out of it. So this is great if you don't like um, having uh, earphones in your ear or over your ear the whole, uh, any, you know, certainly for extended periods of time like myself. I, I really don't like wearing headsets for, for long periods of time. So that's why this is really appealing to me. Um, having the, the bone conduction uh, technology is, um, is great for that. And then you also, you, uh, especially if you're out, if you, you know, walking around or whatever, you can still hear the sounds around you. You're not um, uh, just zeroing in on, uh, on whatever it is that's, uh, that's coming through your headphones and you, you know, step out in traffic or don't see something coming or whatever it is. So um, yeah, th these are very, uh, the bone conducting technology and the, um, the, the usage of that, very appealing to me. Um, it has a boom microphone as well that um, you can keep it up there or just have it forward. That sits, uh, sits over and the microphone, um, I've tested it out. Um, you can test it out if you, if you, you do Zoom calls. Um, you can test it out where it goes, you know, you test the speaker and microphone. Uh, you can test, uh, test it out that way. Um, I have found this microphone to be very good. Um, it's noticeably better than, um, than a bunch of others that I've, that I've tested out with that, um, with that same uh, Zoom test. Um, so, uh, not sure why, but it, <laughs> the, the microphone works really well. Um, as far as sounds goes, it is bone conducting uh, technology. So, um, this is not going to be, you know, if you listen to, if you're an audio file and you're listening to, you know, to music all the time and you really want to hear the notes and stuff, uh, this is not the, <laughs> this is not the headset for that. Um, this is more sort of a, um, uh, an everyday long, uh, you know, type of headset, maybe use it at work or, or travel or stuff like that. It's very lightweight as well, so, um, you know, you barely even realize you, you have it on. So, um, great points um, like that to it. Um, the price point uh, at $200, uh, it's not cheap, obviously, um, but... Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for uh, a really lightweight headset, uh, this um, this could uh, this could really be good. It does also have uh, it comes in a nice case um, as well. That's that really it's hard and can protect it. Um, it does come with a, a USB um, connector here. So if you don't want to use a Bluetooth for your device, then you can use this, and this um, the little dongle will will connect. Now, let me get to my, uh, my gripes about it. The first thing is charging. So you will see there's a, a little charging point here. This is a proprietary, proprietary charging. It's magnetic. It's a proprietary charging um, with, uh, with shocks. This is, uh, just goes to the, your typical um, USB connector. Why or why could you not just do USB, uh, USB-C connector? Um, why proprietary? So, you know, means basically means there's another charging type of charging cable and uh, drives me crazy. I mean, not, not just shocks, but other companies that insist on doing that. Um, so that's definitely a negative. I've also found the um, Bluetooth seems to work well with it. Um, the the dongle connecting that like you know connecting to your laptop and the dongle um 
the trouble comes in if you're also trying to connect this to your phone. So you're trying to connect with Bluetooth and you're trying to connect with the dongle at the same time. It doesn't like that, just causes problems. So um, I actually don't even use the dongle um, with the, with the laptop for like Zoom calls and stuff. Um, I just use Bluetooth now and it works, uh, it, it works fine. Um, other little thing to I could say is a little bit of a gripe if the volume's on too high you get because um, it's bone conducting quite a bit of uh, you know sort of vibration um, on the side of your face so um, just be aware of that with um, with the volume that you that you set them out um, overall um, I do like them because they lightweight I don't have something in my hair I can wear these literally wear these all day the microphone is great um, but the dongle uh, dongle sucks um, yeah, they, they really need to work on their uh, working, you know, on the dongle and for the love of God, just do a freaking USB-C instead of your own proprietary one. Um, I have seen that they've, they've just brought out a um, the OpenCom 2, um, looks very similar to this. Um, also, it still has their own proprietary um, proprietary sort of dongle on there uh, sorry proprietary charging um, connector so yeah I think I would you know I'll wait for uh, open com 3 to see maybe if they if they improve on that uh, then then maybe I would upgrade uh, right now I don't really see any uh, any need for that uh, and it's only just come out um, so yeah this is the uh, the shocks open com UC um, Bluetooth stereo headset Thanks for watching, quick honest reviews.